as his Punisher fit the caliper. Been uh, digging around on YouTube for some easy ways of creating an accommodation lock, and I liked one of these guys' theories that they did, so I'm technically basing this off of a partial bit of his design, and then I'm adding in parts of my own, thanks to a friend of mine who is like a Minecraft genius. And as you can see, I've upgraded my textures a bit from the last time I did my other videos. Things have a little bit more extra detail now. And yeah, this one's a little bit more complex, but it's, I guess you could say it's probably a little bit more compact than the others I've seen on YouTube. But this is a nine button combination lock for three doors rather than your original one that I've always seen. I've always figured out a wondering of, of a way of doing each door independently, but I think I'll try to do that next time. Right now what I have is a work in progress. For those that know what I'm talking about, I don't have to explain it, but for the people that don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to explain it anyways. How this works is that where these red torches are at represents a color for each button. And where that torch is at is the button that has to be pushed. If you push one of these buttons that go to this color, the door will not open. You would have to reset it with the reset button and then do it all over again and try to get it correct. So, as you can see, I have five torches. So that means five buttons have to be pushed, and it doesn't matter in what order it's in, as long as you click the correct ones. But if you goof up, you gotta reset it. And as you can see, I've been using bundled cable and oddly shaped ways, but hey, it works. Alright, so, now that you've seen my base concept of what I got going on, on up here. God, that's a lot of red wire. Wait, see if we take a, a good quick peek underneath. And this is the OR gate. This is what will help you open and close the actual pistons for the top and bottom and will also send a signal around to reset the actual uh, combination itself on its own with this repeater that adds a tremendous amount of delay so I'm just gonna put it around there and it's probably around four seconds I got a converter right here and over here, I guess you could say it's a little experiment, because I want to have it to where when you open the doors up, that it will turn these lights on, lighting up the area where the doors are at. Um, so I'm hoping that will work. Knowing that all the doors are closed, that means that I did something right. So this should be interesting as soon as I get it done. So I will be right back, and... I'll get to you as soon as I get more done. Alright, and we're back. To be honest, hold on. Stupid rain is annoying. Uh, it really hasn't been that long. Probably three minutes. I did do a small test run without actually having to hit the button. I just clipped one of the wires so the pistons would release. And part of it actually works. I had a small flaw which you could probably tell where it was. When I had a wire here, it kept one of the pistons down, so I had to get rid of those wires. But that saves me some room up there though. But that, that at least tells me that the converter works. So I'm happy about that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Malk fighted. Which means that uh, I can just get rid of these wires. Whoops. 
so all my interruptions I'll come back to you as soon as I get the next stuff done alright guys welcome back guys it's been around an hour or so and as you can see I have been busy you will not believe how many times I had to set all these because you have to make it to where you had requires every single one in order for it to be like flawless so I did a pyramid design which doesn't look like much but this is what I needed to make and program every single one of them to control how far its signal went and as soon as it lit both this wire and that wire it sends the signal all the way over here to this block where it opens up the door and the lights so I guess I'll give you a, a pretty good brief run through on what I did well after I show you how I have everything set up because believe it or not I had to write everything down that was a pain Alright, so green, yellow, purple, blue, and last but not least, brown. And voila! Walk safely through, and then after the delay, the door closes on its own. the only thing left is to create the switch in the interior that goes straight to the actual thing that controls the um, the actual pistons and I'll be able to open the door from the inside with a push of a button and I should get the same delay as before Hopefully. So, guess I'll see you guys in a little while. Hopefully, it's a little while. We are back, and I have success. And to prove that I have success, I will show you what I did. In order to op open it from the inside, you need well. For me, I just did everything out in the open so you can see what I did. And probably in your guys' versions, you could probably make it less complicated than what I did. Because <laughs> mine is like freaking retarded, like crazy contraption of godlikeness. But that this is what's called a null cell. That's That came in handy for getting over my pink wire because I needed to get over there so technically it goes from over here all the way down underground comes out over here goes over the pink wire into my bundled cable out of my bundled cable goes through a, a repeater with fast reaction this time and goes straight to this block this allows me to use the actual timing of my delay to my advantage the last time I did this uh, I only had one door and it barely stayed open for enough time for you to get three. so knowing that I solved that flaw I think I achieved something so yeah, this is my compressed combination lock, 9-bit combination lock door with a release button in the inner room where you might be putting a vault. Well, technically this would be a vault door. It's three doors. And we're having one belt right now in the server. It's taking time to get most of the materials. 
but knowing that this design works and all the materials I need I now know and if just in case you were wondering how you reset how it resets it every time is that when you go through that gate that had down there where that uh... here I'll show you when it meets up with that it will send a signal that opens these then it goes through this converter through a delay this delay is practically what keeps the door open comes down here if you go this way this takes you straight to the um, button that resets it comes through here another conversion goes this way goes all the way underneath here comes out over here and then goes through repeaters and redstone torches now when those redstone torches light up it deactivates the torches that are used to keep the door open but when those turns off which they all turn off like instantly it closes the door and resets everything so that's how it resets itself the button that opens it from the inside just skips all that and goes straight for the block that controls the door so you don't need to put in another combination to leave because that would just be stupid so yeah this is a little bit of someone else's work took it to a whole new level and with my special touches all in all I think I did a pretty good job confused the living hell out of myself took me around two hours to program the whole thing and build it so yeah I'll catch you guys later